Hi, it's Carolyn. I'm here to help you learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes. And in this video, I am giving you 10 reasons why I cover cakes with fondant rather than just frost them in buttercream. And I'm trying to say frost because a lot of people said that I was wrong for saying ice my cakes, but I don't like frost your cakes. I ice my cakes, but anyway. <laughs> Um, these are 10 reasons why I would cover my cakes with fondant rather than ice them with the buttercream icing. And this is a question that I got on one of my videos and I just thought it would be so much easier just to make a video to explain. So we will start with number one. So the first reason is if I need the fondant decorations and the background, which would be the icing or the fondant covered cake, to match perfectly. And this happens especially with red cakes. I find that the red icing really deepens over time and can mess up the look of the cake and then the fondant does not match the icing in the background. So I'm gonna show you a bunch of examples of cakes that I've made to explain my point. So we'll start with this baby shower cake that I made. And can you see how the tops here, that red icing deepened so much that it doesn't match any of the rest of the red on the cake? Now it kind of works, but I still would have rather have had all of the reds to match. And here's another one that I did recently and look how much this red tear deepened over the course of a couple days. So I was able to make that third red tear match the Tweedledee and Tweedledum. So it looked like I used red and maroon on purpose. However, that, that's not what I wanted to do. So in the future, I need to remember because red always does this to me. When I'm doing red cakes, I usually like to cover them in fondant just so it matches the rest of the cake and the icing doesn't deepen too much. And another example is this Sonic cake that I made. And I have a video showing you how I decorate this and I will link that in the description. But do you see how Sonic's head and his face has to match the little mohawk? If I ice the cake in blue icing and then tried to dye those blue mohawk pieces to match, it probably would have been a little off. So in that instance, I want to cover the cake in fondant so everything matches. So the second reason I would cover cakes with fondant rather than just having them frosted with buttercream icing. And just a note, all of my cakes that are covered in fondant do have a layer of buttercream icing underneath. So they are always iced first and then will be covered in the fondant. But the second reason is with dark colored cakes. So sometimes, like look at the red, <laughs> sometimes I don't like to use icing that has too much coloring in it. So in that instance, I will cover the cake with fondant instead. So for example, look at this, this cake. I don't even know what it's called. Was it Baby Llama Mama or something like that? I don't even know what it's called. But I made this cake a couple years ago. The top tier is a navy blue and I opted to cover that in the fondant and the bottom tier, the light blue, is just buttercream icing. I just didn't want to add a lot of the coloring to achieve that navy blue color. And especially with cakes that are all black like this one, I just prefer to cover in fondant. I, I don't like icing cakes with black buttercream and that's just a personal preference. Can you do it? Yes. Have I done it? Yes. I just prefer not to. Now, I do have a technique where I frost my cakes with a white crumb coat and then I add a darker colored final coat on top. So there's not too much dark icing on the outside. And I have a video showing you how I do that and I will link that in the description. But a good rule of thumb for me is that if it's gonna be a really dark cake, then I'm gonna cover it in fondant. On to reason number three. And that is if I'm making a carved cake or a sculpted cake. Now, I don't really make a lot of carved or sculpted cakes, <laughs> but I do some simple ones, like if they're just tapered or if they're rounded on the top, like this minion cake, it's just so much easier to cover the whole thing in fondant because if you have a round top cake, it, I have a process where you can smooth it out. It's just gonna look so much better if it's covered in fondant. And also something like this hat for this Mad Hatter cake, since it is sculpted and tapered, it's just so much easier. I'll get a smoother finish and it'll look so much nicer if it's covered in fondant. On to the fourth reason why I cover cakes in fondant. And that is dependent on the weather. 
And especially if it is three or more tiers, I'm going to want to cover the bottom tier with fondant just because cakes tend to melt faster in the warmer weather, the butter and the icing softens, the cake is prone to hairline cracks in the buttercream during transit, and I just feel like if I at least cover the bottom tier of these taller, heavier cakes, they are more protected in the heat. So I'm gonna show you some examples. This cake that I made, this Woodland Animals cake, is one of my favorite designs that I've done. That bottom tier is covered in that tree branch, the tree bark effect, and it helps protect that bottom tier from damage. And also this Hamilton one that I made, this one, the entire thing is covered in fondant because it was, I think it was like the middle of July or something that I made it, and I just wanted to make sure that the cake was protected. Now, if it's not hot and humid out, like right now it's almost Christmas, I'm near Philly and it is cold here and this is when I love to make cakes and unfortunately not a lot of people order cakes now, <laughs> but the weather is cold, the icing, icing? <laughs> the icing stays solid during transport. So this Philly sports cake that I made, the bottom tier, do you see how it's plain orange? In the winter time, I can just ice it with buttercream icing and it's gonna be fine. If I made this cake during the summer, I would probably cover that bottom tier with orange fondant just to protect it. On to reason number five. I will cover cakes in fondant rather than just ice them in buttercream icing if I can't get the icing nice and smooth. And when does that usually happen? If it is a square or a sheet cake. And sometimes also, if I mess up the icing as I am working on it or whatever, I, will just, I would just rather cover the cake with fondant than start all over. So here's an example of this mixtape cake that I made. It is a sheet cake and it would have been a huge pain in the butt for me to ice it in buttercream and get it smooth and perfect. And another reason I wanted the fondant decorations to match the background. So all of these reasons are kind of intertwined, but if it's a cake, that I find is going to be a little more challenging to get the icing nice and perfect, I'm gonna cover it in fondant. On to reason number six, and sometimes I cover cakes with fondant because of the detail that I need to put in it. So there are some impressions that I need to make and fondant sometimes holds on to that a little better. For example, I will show you this mermaid cake that I made. So look at that middle tier. I made those little scale impressions and that really wouldn't look right in buttercream icing. So I had to cover the cake with fondant to do that. And I think I have a video showing you how I do that. So I will link that below. The seventh reason why I would cover cakes with fondant is just aesthetics. Sometimes it just looks better to have a fondant covered cake because a buttercream cake would be a little messy. And to show an example is this very hungry caterpillar cake. And this is one of my favorite themes to do. And unfortunately people don't really order it anymore. And I just, I want, I'm putting it out there in the universe. I wanna make a very hungry caterpillar cake, a really cool one. So I want someone to order that from me. <laughs> but look at the top tier, that chocolate cake that had to be covered in fondant. It had to be done. It wouldn't look right if I did it in buttercream. So there are some designs that just warrant, is that the right word? <laughs> the need for a fondant cake. The eighth reason why I would cover a cake with fondant is if it needs to be airbrushed or painted. Now I have a video where I talk about that and I will link that in the description. But if you can see this astronaut cake I airbrushed the outside of it and I just feel like fondant holds on to airbrushing so much better than buttercream icing. Now, sometimes do I airbrush buttercream? Yes, like in this cake that I did, I lightly airbrushed the black on the outside and it looks good. But if I need to do like a deep airbrushing, the fondant holds onto it so much better. And also if I have to paint the cake, so usually if I'm painting the cake, it'll be painted in silver, gold, or like copper or bronze, like this soup pot cake that I made. And I love making food cakes. Who else out there loves making food cakes? They're so much fun to make. But doing the soup pot, I had to paint it that copper color and I just like painting the fondant I feel like it takes to the color so much better. And that way people can just eat the cake and the icing underneath it and don't have to eat that painted colored fondant. And also for this Wizard of Oz cake, you see that top tier that I did with the silver, that is covered in, pon in, in pondant. <laughs> it's covered in fondant and painted silver. On to reason number nine. 
And that kind of goes with number eight is if I need the cake to be shiny or glittery. So to show an example is this nail polish bottle. The top tier is covered in black fondant and I wanted to get it shiny like a nail polish bottle. So what I did was get a little bit of Crisco vegetable shortening on a paintbrush and I painted that on there and then took a dry paper towel and got rid of the excess. You can also take a steamer and steam the fondant as well, but you need to have a fondant covered cake in order to get that effect. And also look at the bottom tier. Do you see how it has a glitter effect to it? I prefer to cover cakes and fondant when I add detail like glitter to it because I feel like it holds on so much better to the fondant. And on to the final reason, number 10, why I cover cakes in fondant. And that is simply because just some designs cannot be done in all buttercream. Maybe you can do it, maybe you are a wizard. I personally, I know I have limits. <laughs> And there are some designs that I just can't do unless I cover the cake in fondant. For example, the top tier of this Fortnite cake, that box, in order to get the very sharp edges and to get the dark colored background and to be able to airbrush it, I had to cover it with fondant. And I'll be making another one of those soon, so I will film a video and post that shortly on how I do that box. And also other designs like these sneaker boxes and that sneaker and this book. And I have a video showing you how I do the book. I'll link that below. Just look below for any other videos that I reference. <laughs> but designs like that, you have to cover it in fondant. If you have made a shoebox cake or a shoe cake in all buttercream, um, you might be the best cake decorator ever because I don't know how people do that. <laughs> And my last example is this cake that I made. And the pancakes, they have to be done with fondant. And also that's a really tall cake. I made it in the summertime. I made sure that that bottom tier was covered in fondant to help protect it during the delivery. And I did airbrush and have to paint that bottom tier. So a lot of these reasons are intertwined and it all comes down to personal preference. Now I know a lot of people don't like fondant and Usually when I know I have to cover a cake with fondant, I will let the customer know there is cake and icing under the fondant. Um, people get all up in arms. Is that the right way to say it? <laughs> they get all crazy about fondant covered cakes. And I liken it to kale on your dinner plate. The kale and the lemon that comes on your dinner, like with your steak and makes it look nice and pretty, but you don't eat it. That's kind of like what fondant does for your cake. So I think that's it. I hope this helped you out. If you have any other reasons that you prefer to cover cakes with fondant, let us know in the comments below. And just a reminder, I do have a Cake Academy membership program where I can help you elevate your cakes to the next level. I will link all of that information in the description. Please like this video if you liked it and if you're enjoying my tutorials, I would be so grateful if you could buy me a coffee. My link is down below. And I would love it if you would keep in touch on socials and you could check out my website. And if you want to stick around, you can watch this video next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And remember, it's cake. Have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.